Well, hello friends, welcome to Rewake Videos. My name is William and I'm so excited that you are here. I just wanted to check out um, African Rainbow Investments. African Rainbow Investments. I'm sorry about the network, but I just wanted to check it out. But before we do, let's look at how everything is performing currently, actually. Um, let's look at the top 40 um, companies. Oh. So it looks like everything's going accordingly. Um, two days. So it's trying to pick up. You see, there's, um, yeah, yeah, ne? You know, I I love sometimes when people say that the economy is doing well, but when you look deeper at how our top forty companies are performing how things are going um, economically, um, you start to realize that um, not so much, not so much. Um, this is a top 40 chart, so um, you can see that today it's performing very well. At 9 a.m. it just uh, spiked up and it pushed to 6,500. Um, so it, it, it performed very well, but when you go to yesterday, as opposed, uh, uh, um, and compared to today, you realize that yesterday it, it did the same thing. 9 a.m. it went high up, and at about three, between two and three, it went dramatically down. Um, and this morning it's going up again. You know, so this is what we talk about when we say that things are. Uh, in an equilibrium state it's not really growing it's not really but it's it's just there you know between um 6500 and 6500 um uh, 65500 okay, so um let's look at 3 months you see there's that equilibrium state between um 6500 and um 70,000 you see there's and it's been 3 months so when people say that the economy is doing well everything's going quite well um i think we should recheck and you know perhaps next year when we when we vote things will be will be a bit better i'm talking about just um top 40 um companies how they are performing so let's look at um JC resources sorry okay let's go to two days mm -hmm. you see what I'm talking about let's go to three months mm. okay um industrials mm. okay Okay, in three months. You see, this looks good for, for short-term investors. You know, some short-term investors today, they they made money if they've invested between um, maybe 9 and 10 and 11, they've made money. But um, really, let's, let's go to the... Um, shares that are up right so um i wonder if it's gonna show me just today okay there we go so when you look at um this particular company at 9 a.m stayed the same for at least five minutes or so then it skyrocketed to um 72 clicks so um, let's look at yesterday, how it closed. So between yesterday and today, there's been growth, you know, in, in the share price. Three months, you see that decline, right? So this might say that there's something good that they're doing, but it's only two days. You know, I wonder if we look at a week, um, maybe a month, but three months says that they went down, you know. So let's look at a year. 
a year they've been having a slow decline you know so um that's uh west sees with platinum ltd so let's let's look for others um let's look for others maybe something that we are familiar to um oh come on give me something sun international limited yes let's go to sun international limited so for today when they opened it skyrocketed look it it, it went from four thousand clips to um between four thousand and twenty and four thousand and forty and after that it went up again to four thousand and forty then it went it, it dipped as you can see so for short-term investors um from the opening to 4040 they've made profit but again it went down and went back up to 40 20 clips so when you look at two days you see that it's the habit that it has you know um sun international that's how it's behaving um and let's look at three months when you look at three months you see that it's growing you know um so for those that the the short term investors that invest for three months to a year or for a day to a year they they've made a bit of profit and for one year you can see that um the person who who invested um in october uh, made profit more profit um in the third of april this year as opposed to the person who invested in october and to date you know so yeah so let's look at one more company before we go to um should we look at bitvest or 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 espion or um, how do you call this mr price i want to look at mr price you know okay so um as you can see it's the we're still in the beginning of, of the month mr price has a tendency to create some form of growth to experience some co form of growth a, at the end of the month maybe it's because people are paying or people are shopping but look at the two days it, it has been it has been dipping um let's look at three months it has been dipping let's look at a year uh, Mr. Price is one of the biggest companies in South Africa. Um, but as you can see that it's not really performing quite according to our expectation. But I'm sure maybe next year it would be showing some level of growth, right? So let's go to Bitvest. Um, so with Bitvest, I want to go to a year. Yes, look at Bitvest, the, the, the growth that it's experiencing you know um so guys like i always say i think bitvest is, is one of the companies that are on the top 40 if you want to invest in these particular companies that are especially in the top 40 make sure that you invest a like if you have um a thousand rand make sure that you put 250 in that company and 750 you put it in three different etfs that have top 40 which is including of that particular company so i think bitvest is one of those companies that are in the top 40 and also you might find an etf that has bitvest um you know especially these top 40 uh, uh etfs so you know you would be able to make money um and and um diversify your portfolio Alrighty, um, I want us to look at African Rainbow. Um, what do you call this? African Rainbow. What do you call this company? Why did I forget it? African Rainbow um, Investments. If you can hear voices, I'm so sorry. Um, kids are playing outside. So. I'm trying to look at uh, one of the biggest companies in South Africa, but it's not appearing. Am I? Oh, I think I was at the wrong, the wrong place. Ooh. Can I not? Can I? 
can I not? Yes, there it is. I was at the wrong place. I'm so sorry about that. So when you look at African Rainbow um, Capital Investments, I am interested in this because this is one of the biggest companies in South Africa, right? Um, so let's go to information before we do anything. Information, information. Come on, information. There we go. So African Rainbow Capital Investment LTD, um, um, JC Listed uh, Main Board, um, JC Sector Financial, Financial Services, Closed End Investment, um, ARK Investment. I think you know ARK Investment is owned by um, Petrus Mutsipe, if I'm not mistaken, um, or perhaps is one of the board members. Yeah, I think it's on. African Rainbow Capital Investments is uh, incorporated in the Republic of Mauritius and holds a global business license under the Mauritius Financial Act. It is uh, regulated by the Mauritian, uh, Mauritian Financial Services Commission and is listed in the JSE with a secondary listing on a 2X. Arc Investment is an investment holding company and focuses on being a broad-based black controlled investment vehicle of significant scale, offering shareholders the opportunities to indirectly invest in a diverse, diversified portfolio of listed and unlisted investments. Um, Arc Investment is 44.4%. Okay, now listen. This is the information that I want you to get, right? Arc Investment, or Aki, is... 44.4% owned by African Rainbow Capital. So African Rainbow Capital, I think it's on the JSE as well. So this would be a parent company, if I'm not mistaken. So if you were to invest, let's say you have a thousand rand and for the next uh, 10 years, you want to invest a thousand rand. Um, maybe you would say 250, you want to put it into... Um, African Capital Investment, Aiki, and the second one you put it in the African Rainbow Capital. Then after that you look for ETFs which have these both companies in 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 them. If if you find it, then you invest in it. So, but either way, Aiki Investments is owned forty four point four percent by African Rainbow Capital, which is. Uh, which in turn is owned 100% by Ubuntu Boto Investment. I don't know if it's, it's on the JSE, but I'll check. If it's on the JSE, then you invest in all these three. And let's say you have a thousand and you invest in all these three. Then after that, you would go for ETF and and look for um, an ETF that includes all these companies. If not, if you don't find it, then you can invest in maybe uh, Aki, um, Aki Investments, then also um, African Rainbow Capital. Um, or you can put aside maybe an extra thousand, maybe you have two thousand and you would spend one thousand on all these companies, then another thousand on ETFs that include these companies. So that's when you begin to diversify. Guys, remember, I'm not encouraging you to, to you know, invest in particular uh, companies that I'm telling you to invest in. I am just throwing um, new thinking, new thoughts um, so that you can be able to make profit, right? Um, so yes, so Arc Investment is, and remember as well, I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I registered with Fisker. So if you're looking for a financial advisor, you can go to a bank or you can go to all these big companies like Ellen Gray, um, Cor Coronation and so forth. Um, Arc Investment is an investing holding entity which holds 99.95 in the ARC fund, which in turn makes use of um, ARC fund to invest in various investee entities. These investments are managed by UBI. Uh, I think UBI is Ubuntu Boto Investments as general partner of ARC fund and earns um, a management fee. So if you, um, basically, it's, it's like a circle. Money moves from ag like investments, uh, pays, um, ag, I mean, African Rainbow,
because African Rainbow is a is a board member, and also Ubuntu, ne? Um, and they also share a portfolio. So it's it's a huge circle. So if you were to invest, you would have in all these you would have a stake, right? But anyway, um, let's look at the calendar because the calendar sh- sh- shares with us i think it's a growth stock if it's not a growth stock then they pay dividends yeah, i think it's a growth stock right so um okay yeah they're not saying anything about dividends um let's look at the news so African Rainbow Capital Investment Full Year Financial. So SHS tries to give you the news as they come, but um you can also go on um Yahoo um finance, finance.yahoo.com so that you can get the news as well. Um let's look at their finances. So they turn over thirty point six, right? Um <clears throat> But they don't expound a lot on our oh, return on on total assets twenty eight point zero. Okay, return in shareholder funds twenty seven. Uh, total current liabilities they didn't write liabilities total. Yeah, well, um, all right. Uh, market cap. Okay, total assets. Okay, so. Um, you can go through this information. Um, I'm actually currently running a, a, a investment classes on YouTube, so you can just hit the the join button, or just check on the description below because this is where I teach you how to calculate uh, some of these things, so that you can be able to see if you would make money or not if you were to invest in this particular company. So check it out. But I wanted you to see this 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 company you know i think this company owns rain if i'm not mistaken i think it owns rain um and uh, a few things as well but this is a good company to invest in um shares are quite low at the moment i think uh five rand if i'm not mistaken but anyway um let's look at max so from 2017 to date this is how the the, the graph has been showing so it's it's quite stable you know it's quite stable it's not um growing in a huge way in a huge scale but it's in in an equilibrium equilibrium state whereby you know that if it's stable you'll be able to secure your funds and be able to make profit as time goes on so people who would invest in this kind of growth stock is people that are interested in um if it's not a growth stock guys please tell me on the comments below if it's a dividend paying stock um, it would be nice if it was a dividend paying stock. So uh, if you were to invest in this, it means you are long term. You see, this is 10 years, right? So a person who who invested in uh, September 2017 um, at the peak, you know, probably is not making as much money that they thought that they would. But um, if they have a good financial investor, then I'm sure that they are making money. But People who invested five years ago, as we can see, they have made profit, a huge profit. What about one year? You know, um, still they made profit, but not as much, right? Um, three months, uh, two days. So these are short-term investors. Three months, two days, and one day. Mm. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you this company, maybe just to pick your brain a bit. Um, just tell me what you think um, and tell me if it is a company that you would invest in. So thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your day. Remember, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button. Um, make sure that you comment down below and join our classes as well um, and just show your support. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.